me explain how to make a mileage chart. So if one of the locations I pick is the Grand Canyon in Arizona, I would write that in both the first column and the first row. So I need to figure out the distance between Sterling and the Grand Canyon. So if I go to Google Maps, I say Sterling to Grand Canyon. Now, you notice that this is the fastest time, but it's not necessarily the shortest distance. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick this second route that says it's 2,383 miles. So 2,383. And I write that in both of these boxes. So if I am reading a mileage chart, I could say from Sterling to the Grand Canyon is 2,383 miles, or from the Grand Canyon to Sterling is 2,383 miles. Now, the reason that I have put these dashes in on the diagonal is because you're never going to travel from Sterling to Sterling or from the Grand Canyon to the Grand Canyon. Okay, so if it helps you, think of the first column as your starting point and the first row as your ending point. So Sterling to the Grand Canyon be 2,383 miles. If my next um, location was the White House, which is not on your list, from Sterling to the White House would be whatever this number is, etc. Okay, so that's how you can use Google Maps to fill out your mileage chart.